Irresistible death invited me many times. It was like salt occulted in the waves. And what his invisible fragrance suggested was fragrance of wrecks and heights or vast structures of wind and snowdrift. I had come to the cut of the blade, the narrowest channel in the air, the shroud of field and stone, the interstellar void of ultimate steps, and the awesome spiral way, though not through wave on wave, do you attain us, vast sea of death, but rather like a gallop of twilight, the comprehensive mathematics of the dark. You never came to scramble in our pockets. You could not pay a visit without a scarlet mantle, an early carpet hush enclosed in silence, a heritage of tears enshrined or buried here. I could not love within each man a tree, with its remaindered autumns on its back, leaves falling in their thousands, all these false deaths, and all these resurrections, sans earth, sans depths. I wish to swim in the most ample lives, the widest estuaries. And when, little by little, man came denying me, closing his paths and doors, so that I could not touch his wounded inexistence with my divining fingers, I came by other ways, through streets, river by river, city by city, one bed after another, forcing my brackish semblance through a wilderness, till in the last hovels, locking all light and fire, bread, stone, and silence, I paced at last alone, dying of my own death.